in terms of the way we run the facility, there's been a lot of changes. Uh, when I first started, uh, a new arrest would come in and we'd put them in a holding cell, take them to see the judge, and if the judge uh, didn't let them out of jail or if they weren't uh, in a position that they could post bond, that was pretty much where they stayed. And I would see people stay in a single cell for six or eight months or a year. Whereas now, um, we have more options to bond, and not everybody comes back to jail. They may have to for the release procedures, but they can be re released uh, to a third party or to the supervision of uh, the pretrial services. Um, uh, different bond options are available. Uh, people don't have to stay in jail as long. Um, the philosophy that we endorse and, and embrace, uh, first of all, we've just moved into a new facility. And, and it was built around the direct supervision concept. And uh, with direct supervision, in, instead of having inmates um, stashed, if you will, for lack of a better term at the moment, um, inmates being unsupervised in an area um, left to their own devices tend to get creative with ways to spend their time. You know, whether it be uh, making dice or flowers or whatnot out of whatever's available to them, like their roll of toilet paper, uh, or figuring out how to con a fellow inmate out of uh, the coffee that, that the first inmate can't afford or something to that effect. In direct supervision, if, if there's an officer always with them, uh, it doesn't mean that they won't get in trouble, but they know that they're supervised. It's a whole lot more like the teachers in the room. And not only is the teacher in the room, um, we try to actively engage their attention and, and focus um, what they're doing. Whereas we have programs, we have the chaplain comes in first thing in the morning, we have parenting programs, alcohol and drug services come in, and I actively solicit the participation in those programs. I'll go from cell to cell and say, um, there's a lady here from alcohol and drug services, well, you know, would you like to go down and talk to her, see what she's all about? You're not committed to go, you don't have to. Um, if you'd like to go check it out and you decide it's not for you, that's fine, but you're certainly more than welcome to come down if you'd like to. And that's the difference between the way we do things today and the way we used to do things. As an officer, you need to be vigilant at all times. You, when I enter a pod, uh, first of all, I know how many inmates are in that pod. Uh, it's important to know what their classification is. There's always the officer safety issue. I never abandon the, the principles that we teach in the academy as far as um, knowing where you're at and knowing who's around you, right? Uh, but at the same time, as, as long as I'm reasonably safe and, and I know what my surroundings include, um, then I'll try to actively engage in a friendly but professional manner. How are you doing? Um, Not so much, huh? I noticed you haven't played the TV at all today. Not much on it, feel like watching no, right now. No cards. <laughs> not today. Not today. Kind of down, are you? When I first meet an inmate or, in, or engage with an inmate on any particular level, um, if at all possible, uh, I like to come across as a friendly and reasonable person. And generally speaking, that homework is done long before there's any need for any kind of use of force. Because I work here and, and, I, and I rotate from post to post, they all know who I am. And they know that uh, I'm, a, I'm a reasonable person. And if I come upon a scene where uh, it looks like a use of force scene and, and, and it's simply a matter of uh, trying to defuse something, I'll go sit down and talk to that person. Of course, if, if their attitude is such that it doesn't appear to be safe to sit down, um, you know, we're not going to sit down, but, but we'll go and sit and, and talk with them. Don't so, you have something better to do? Why don't you do your, do your round? I've got quite a few things to do, but there's nothing better than coming down here to see what I might be able to do for you. Quite commonly, inmates can solve their own problems. You know, I, I'll ask them, you know, you appear to be really upset. Can you, is that right? And of course, uh, it's pretty common that the response is to the effect of, well, isn't it rather obvious I'm upset? And, and they'll proceed to tell me that they're very upset. And once I get them to talking, um, it starts to come out why they're upset and what it is that upsets them. And we can get to the root of, of what caused them to be upset instead of just taking that person and putting them in a hole somewhere until they calm down. It's quite commonly, they're not really calmed down when we take them back out of the hole either. It's just that they've learned to be quiet or they can't come back out of the hole. If there was a use of force incident, uh, 
we learned that it would take time to call in a response team or to get backup or uh, to have officers respond from a different department. Our sheriff's office backs us up very effectively. But if they're all on the street, the response team, maybe your response time might be significant. So we learned to be creative and resourceful in and hone uh, our verbal judo skills. Uh, our communication skills improved a lot out of necessity. Uh, obviously, you don't respond until it's safe to do so, and until you determine that, okay, it's time to respond. Um, but we learned that by talking to the inmates, letting them solve their own problems, uh, of uh, calming them down, um, we didn't necessarily always have to go hands-on. If I were to share anything with, with, a, with a fellow officer. Um, one is, I would have to admit that it is hard to think outside of the box. And, but if you're willing to try it, um, recognize the fact that, um, that inmates will respond as, as you respond to them. And I know it's not always true, but for the most part it is. Uh, if you treat them like your neighbor, um, they'll treat you like their neighbor.